What do you say, YouTube? It's this part two of today's video. Every now and then, I have to come out to the poor dealership here in Birmingham and give you guys an alternative to the uh, high price uh, C8. The money that you're paying for the C8, especially for the Z06, you can probably get a uh, much better uh, quality vehicle. Uh, you know, that's for those of you that are. Uh, you know, want to, um, you know, maybe not want to pay so much for the uh, Corvette. You know, the Corvette's a nice vehicle, don't get me wrong, C8. But it is getting kind of pricey. And you're actually getting into, the, getting into another, uh, another car market uh, by paying so much for a uh, vehicle that may not be worth it. So that's... A YouTube uh, creator, uh, my channel is all about trying to provide you, trying to provide you with uh, the best uh, automobiles uh, in the industry for your money. And uh, so with that said, uh, like I said, I, I, I like to come out to the Corvette dealership, I mean to the Porsche dealership, and uh, bring you guys some, uh, also some uh, videos of the of the Porsche and it's, some of these Porsches probably not as probably not as pricey as the uh, as the C8 but it's much uh, much better vehicle so let me turn this camera around let you guys see what I'm looking at and this is the electric vehicle it's a Porsche it's called a tower can And this vehicle here is $112,780. $112. And this is a, uh, let's see what year this is. It's got to be a 23. I guess it's 23. Yeah, it's 23. And it's called a Taycan. Taycan. It's an electric vehicle. It's a, uh, basically a sports model sedan. For those of you that have some family or those of you that want some need more room uh, than a Corvette. It's also an al a great alternative to the uh, to the Tesla. It's a really nice vehicle. And this is the Porsche version of the electric vehicle. It's a significant, it's significant less less money than the uh, than the C8. And this is the SUV. And let's see, the, this particular SUV is a uh, 2023. Uh, Macan, and this is is running for sixty eight thousand dollars. For those of you that like SUVs, And this one is uh this one is is seventy two thousand seventy two thousand dollars. I'm kinda of surprised about the price of these. Some of these uh SUVs for the port made by port could be pretty quite pricey. 
I seen some of them as much as one hundred and forty-five thousand dollars. So I guess it depends on which, uh, I guess which one you have. Last time I came out here, they had a, uh, I think it was, uh, I believe it was a Lamborghini. This is the uh, Clayton, the Clayton uh, Porsche. It's probably much more, much more expensive than the, uh, the Macan. Uh, let's see what the price of this. No, oh, actually, this one is uh, just a little bit more expensive. This is 106. It's more full-size version of the uh, Porsche SUV. It's running for 106. It's a nice vehicle. For those of you that are off into the uh, SUVs. Again, this is another Thai King electric vehicle, and this one, this one is running for one ten three forty. I don't, I don't. This, this is not electric one here. <laughs> I didn't know they made ones so that wasn't electric. But this one, let's see what the name of this one. It's got to be something else. This is okay. This is the uh, Porsche. Uh, Panamalama. Pan, 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 oh, I can't pronounce that. It's a 2023 model. The Porsche Panama Panamalama or something like that. <laughs> it's 110, 110, 340. It almost reminds me of the tire can. See, this is, what, this is what I'm talking about. Being able to have a Corvette dealership with the name on it as Corvette instead of GM. I'm not taking away from GM, but I still think that Corvette need to be its own brand, stand out by itself, like this Porsche, if you want to take it to the next level and compete with the Lamborghini. And the McLaren. Because really the C8, man, is already outpriced in the Porsche. Uh, certain particular models. It's really nice here, boy. Ooh. The Taycan 4S. This one's sold, of course. And 
I said, we have a uh, Porsche uh, race, well, it's called Bobbitt's race, race Track, or Race Course, here in Birmingham. And they have Porsches. And this particular dealership services their Porsche. And that's why you see their race cars out here, because of this particular dealership service the uh, the Porsche for that particular racetrack. It's called Bobber's Court. And you too, you can come out and get on the racetrack and if you haven't overdriven a Porsche and uh, see whether you like it or not before you buy it. It costs you a thousand dollars. And this is the GTS. Last time I came out here, there was a whole lot more of them. A whole lot more of them than, than what you see today. They haven't been wrecked there. Getting ran into, into something or somebody. Like I said, you can come out to the Barber's Court and drive one of their Porsches if you plan on buying your Porsche. And it costs you a thousand dollars to, uh, I think, drive one of their Porsches. If you if you test drive a Porsche, you probably end up buying one if you never driven one before. And the same thing with the C8 Corvette. And if you are interested in a Corvette and like to drive it before you buy it, you go to the Corvette Museum. in Bowling Green, Kentucky. And you can purchase a, uh, I mean, you can drive the L's around the track. I think the L's start at about three to, three to four hundred dollars. This depends on uh, which level that you are, uh, that you're, buying you have to go through a little training course basically around the track at highway speed and if you want even more greater speed you know it costs you a little bit more money and be a, be aware be aware that if you own a corvette uh or porsche you know the insurance may not cover you when you're on a track. Let's think about the Corvette Museum. The Corvette Museum does have their own insurance that will cover you on and off of a track. For those of you that like the track, you'll be a Me personally, if I had a brand new C8 or Porsche or what have you. I wouldn't be, I wouldn't put it on a track. Even if I have a, a C8 Z07, I wouldn't put it on a track. As you know, uh, you know, just because you have a car and they do 200, 250, that don't mean the guy can do it. And the spec for them, the armor, you uh, warranty on that vehicle it may not honor it because you didn't track that vehicle even though you, you can track it they want you to have these cars and, ha and the cars have the ability to do these uh, special things but they don't want you to actually get out and do it not if you plan on reselling the vehicle anytime soon so it's, it's a situation where you Damn if you do and damn if you don't.
know what, it, what that is leaking out of that car, but it's, it's leaking. That car been down like this for a long time. That was over. And this is what you call the uh, Porsche tire can. Tight, tight can. That's, that's a beautiful vehicle. A glass top. Boy, I tell you, this this is very roomy. Uh, believe me, it's very roomy. Uh, it's something different than the uh, than a normal uh, normal vehicle. Wow. This is this is what you call boy. This is what you call luxury, luxury uh, sports uh, sedan, electric electric vehicle. And again, it's called the Taycan. It's an alternative to the uh, to the uh, Tesla. First time I ever been in one. And with this, you know, this color, man, I can imagine this color is kind of, whoo, I can imagine this would be kind of hard to keep clean looking at it. Well, getting, getting in and out of this, man, I'm going to feel like my Corvette. This is obvious, obviously a used model, probably a demo.
That's a Lexus. That I, I ain't too keen on. I ain't too keen on no Lexus. I don't even know why that's even out here. This is a 2020 911 Calero 4S. It's 134,697. Like I said, the C8, man, the C8, I'll price these cars. And this is pre owned. Yeah, this, this is pre owned. Man, this is nice. Never driven a Porsche before. I can only imagine what that's like. Wow. And she even has a back seat. To be honest with you, I never, I never really been a, been a uh, Porsche fan. I've always been a Corvette, Corvette fan. Uh, probably because I never been in one. But they say once you, uh, once you test drive one of these, uh, uh, you know, you'll end up buying one. So, and this is a twenty twenty model. This, it's still one hundred thirty four thousand dollars. It's just cool. It just shows you the uh, value and the quality of this uh, of this vehicle. The uh, 2020, man, that's almost that's three years ago. And she she still is pricey. I imagine, boy, this is this this sucker like really go. You ain't got no racing nobody in this car. They ain't, they ain't gonna be able to catch you with two racers. 